Hello, future test takers. Thanks for tuning in to our Michigan English Test, or MET, test taker series, created to help you prepare for your English certificate exam. Some of you may currently be taking an English course. Others might not have visited a classroom in some time. Don't worry. There are lots of ways you can prepare for MET by sharpening your English skills from home. In this video, we'll talk about some suggestions for you to practice English on your own and get ready to take MET. Are you ready? Let's get you prepared for your Michigan English test. Learning a language takes time and continuous practice. Think of it like a muscle in your body. If you don't use it, it loses strength over time. The best way to prepare for MET is giving yourself time to practice all English skills in real life situations. Make practicing English a habit, a part of your life. Follow Michigan Language Assessment on social media for fun prompts. Watch TV shows in English or turn on English subtitles. Join a local or online community. Practice with conversation and by asking or responding to questions. Don't neglect any of your skills. Make sure you're practicing your speaking, reading, writing and listening on a regular basis. The more you practice, the more natural English will feel until you are thinking in English. Let's break down these ideas by each skill section. Do you have an English speaking friend or a family member that also speaks English? Set a goal to talk with them daily. Tell them a story or something that happened to you that day, or just have a short conversation. If you're taking English classes, make sure you participate in class activities as much as you can so you can get lots of practice and feedback. Don't have a speaking partner? Use your phone or computer to record yourself talking. Talk about something you are interested in. Make sure you give your opinion, explain reasons and provide explanations in a persuasive manner. For more focus practice, try the sample speaking prompts available on our online resource library. Record your answers and play them back. Write down what you heard. Did it make sense? Could you understand each word clearly? Were the opinions and additional information clearly explained? If the answer is no, then keep going. Try writing out what you wanted to say instead. See if you can spot any errors before trying again. A great way to practice your English reading and listening skills is by using real life materials, not materials created for a language course. The best part is you can watch, listen or read what you enjoy most. Find a movie or TV show in English. Listen to English language podcasts or songs and read a book, a blog or anything you are interested in, in English. To focus your attention and to help you internalize new information, Take notes of new vocabulary or structures in a notebook. Then, try to use those new words the next time you speak or write in English. In summary, preparing for MET does not require a special course or textbook. You can study on your own and from home with our resources. Use real life examples of spoken and written English to practice and become familiar with how English is used in different situations. Speak, read, write and listen to as much English as possible. Identify the areas you need to improve and get more practice. Visit our website for more preparation resources and a sample digital test. The next video in this series features practical instructions to register for and schedule your MET. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content like this.